Hi everybody. How are we doing? And we're doing great. Episode number 16. Yep, 16 today. And as per usual, guess who is hungover? I may look not like shit currently, but the inside of my body is just, I'm dying. We got it on in the Miller Coca household last night. Yeah, you had some drinky poos as had well. Had some drinky poos. I was nowhere near... Uh, intoxicated. Intoxicated like everyone around me. Yeah. I was dry humped on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, sissy. <laughs> and that was from like, we were all picking songs to play. It was really we good night. two songs each to cue on Spotify. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, it was a really good night. Mm. Had lots of fun. Mm. Yeah, I'm not even going to talk about anything else that <laughs> happened. So. Max, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, Yeah. He put a fucking hole in our wall. Now, how come he put the hole in the wall? Because <laughs> Jasmine was encouraging doing handstands in the house. And Max put his big ass in the wall. <laughs> he put his... And for those of you who don't know who Max is, he's my cousin. He has a Beyonce booty. Like, he's beautiful boy. Beautiful boy. But... got a Beyonce bum. Why? It was so funny. And I've asked that question all day today to him. Why? Yeah, because we just... We went to our... To the um, baby fish burn shower... Baby shower? Yeah, baby shower. Yeah. Yeah. Our beautiful, my beautiful niece, yeah. Jasmine's cousin. Max's having, sister. Max's sister having her first tree. bubba. Yeah, it was actually beautiful. It was lovely. There. We were in the botanical gardens and... Stunning. Gorgeous food and it was it was really nice. It was lovely. Mm, lovely. I was too... Like, I, I have one of those hangovers that, like, instead of getting better throughout the day, I'm getting worse. And I think it's hilarious. And I just feel like I'm being robbed. Because I feel fantastic. And I, we were like there, obviously at the baby shower, the sun was out and I was just like, I need to get under the shade. Like, I'm not yes. feeling well here. And I um, ate a lot of soft cheese, so my stomach is just like, girl, you so know. She'll, she'll be a barrel of laughs later on. Yeah, I will be. Which I can just go downstairs and walk away. <laughs> Fantastic. Fan. But it was a lovely day and all the best to Cam and Olivia. Yeah. We can wait you. eight weeks to go. Love you. Yes. Eight more weeks. She looks like she's just eat, eating a burrito looks good. though. She has, there's like no fucking baby bump. It's, it's good. It's insane. good. It's good. Um, you booked a holiday. Well, I haven't booked it yet. It's a whole situation trying to figure out to align the holidays with Big Daddy Dave. Yeah. But we feel like we have found a spot where we can book this holiday. we just got to book our leave with work because, you know, that's always a situation. Yeah. Um, but Big Me and Big Daddy Dave are going to go to Vietnam. Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we're going to go and do like a little tour over there. So we're really excited yeah, about it. That's going to be so much fun. Not excited about, right, okay, so get this, right? You get a passport for 10 years, right? Yeah. So I thought, better just check the old passports. <laughs> My passport runs out in February of 2024. But the kicker here is you have to make sure that you have six months left on your passport when you return back to the country. Yeah. So we could have done it if we went in July. Yeah. But the travel the travel lady I was talking to, she's like, oh, you know, I wouldn't risk it and da-da-da. I would not. And so then she put doubt in my mind. So now we're like, oh, well, we won't go in July. We'll pick another date. Yeah. Get the passport sorted. And so, yeah, but a renewal for a passport is $325. Mm. Are you kidding me? Just for my ugly ass face. Because they're terrible photos. They're always you, the most awful Glasses photos. off. Can't smile. You can't smile. Mm -hmm. You just stand there. So $325 each. So you already spent like 700 bucks mm. before you've even like left the country. Before you've even booked anything. No, you haven't before booked you, a single thing. No, I know. Yeah. But Ridiculous. that's done. They reckon it'll take four weeks for the uh, passports to come back. So I was okay with that. Yeah, that's good. At least I don't have that backlog anymore. Well, we went and got the photos done. We go to the post office and the guy goes, sorry, you can't use these ones, which is Big Daddy Dave ones. And we're like, oh, why? Did you just yawn? <laughs> just yawn. Oh, guys, this is... <laughs> Am I boring you? <laughs> no, it's like... Am I biggest... boring you? No, you're not, but the yawn was so big that I, like, couldn't... You know, when All you... I saw was his head go back <laughs> and I'm like, this bitch is yawning <laughs> no, while I'm talking. <laughs> Just wait. The yawn was so big. You know how you like can hide a yawn and you can kind of like. Yes. 
I couldn't even do that. No. The one was so big, it took over my body then. It was just like, Yeah, Grr. and the eyes as well. <laughs> so as long as we're not boring you. <laughs> no, that's so funny. So anyway, oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm sorry. So anyway, Big Daddy Dave's photos were not good enough because something about the chin mm. and his beard and the whole situation thing. Because he put this template over it and I'm like, I don't understand. You need to explain this to me. So the poor guy at the post office, I wasn't shitty. I just wanted to understand what like he was why? talking about. Because yeah. you just can't say to me the chin and the beard. Like, okay, but what does it mean? Yeah. So he puts this template over it and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll accept that. But you'll do the photos here, won't you? Yeah. Because apparently you have to book to get photos, but yeah. you don't have to book to put your paperwork in. And he goes, oh, no, we'll do the photos here. And I'm like, thank God, because I was not going to go back. No. Nah to get all these photos redone. Yeah, no. So that's that. all done. Um, that was my week. It was a short week, obviously, and we've got a yeah. short week this week. I know. I'm going to see Nothing Homage But Thieves. Homage to our, huh? I'm going to see Nothing But Thieves. And um, so again, excuse me, day Anzac Day. Yes, I know it's Anzac Day on Tuesday. Hello. But I've got Thursday off. and So, so I, have, I have an extra short week. So anyway, short week, Anzac Day, for all of us to remember those that for our for our yeah. great country that we live in. Yeah. We love them. Well, I think we'll be going dearly. to the Mudraba one again. The Mudraba yeah. Dawn service. That was lovely last year. Yeah. All right, so that's my week. I've got nothing else going on in my life. Nah. You? I am just hanging in there. All right, we now obviously need to keep this ball moving <laughs> because she's tired, everybody. She's just tired. Oh, no, I'm all right. I can do this. But we, we're going to... um. What are we getting into today? We're gonna to be we're gonna be talking about buttholes today. I know we talked about buttholes last yeah, week. Yeah, but is there more specifically with buttholes? What goes inside them? So oh, people shouldn't be putting things. Well, I know I'm not saying. How can I put this? Yes, you don't want things up your butt, but other people I don't want, want things, things up, up my butt. butt. But why are you putting um, foreign objects up there? That's what we're talking what? about. <laughs> yeah, like some not a, it, it's not a dick, but other objects. Like mm. I don't understand that. Mm. But anyway, and so um, it was actually tell me the reason why I went down this rabbit hole was because you sent me a like reel, and it was about this woman saying that the human butthole can stretch up to seven centimeters. She was oh a, sorry, seven inches. She was a lady. Seven from, inches. She was a lady that ran a sex. It's called um, Get Me Off. The yeah, which is like company. sex toys online or whatever. Yeah. So she, um, I'm yeah. just Googling how I many... I do remember s- that. I don't know why I sent it because I, so I thought it was fascinating. Yeah, seven inches is 17 centimetres. Yeah, that's huge. That's fucking massive. So, and then she went on to say that raccoons can squeeze in... Um, places yes. up to four inches. So she's like, so basically you could have two raccoons up your ass. That's at the pretty same much what time. she was saying. And yeah. I was like, what the fuck? That I is thought you would insane. be fascinated by that. Yeah. So then I was like, okay. But mm. who's going to be sticking two raccoons up their ass? Not me. Not me. She also, at the end of the video though, she was like, caveat, please don't do that. Yes. She was like, don't But not you know what? Try. People will try it. Freaks. So anyway, what else did um, you find out? I found out. Because I went through, like, a bunch of different stuff and I found, I like when they do the x-rays. So you can see, oh, yeah. like, the objects, like, inside In, their body before yeah. it's obviously removed. Oh, because you can see, like, the hip area and then that, and then, like, a that pelvis area and, yeah. that's vacant. Yeah. Yeah. So I, like, went through and started looking at all these different x-rays and there was also a CT scan, which I'll show you in a minute. And it was all of, like, different stuff that have, pe- like that people have stuck up there and gotten stuck and had to obviously go to the hospital. What I don't understand is okay. at what point, number one, do you think it's a good idea to stick some of the things that have been stuck up there? <laughs> yeah. Number two, yeah. at what point were you then like, I've got to go to the hospital. I can't get it I out. I can't get it out. And then how do you explain it? So from, How do you explain it? Yeah, that? but let, let's like, it should be like a tampon. If you're going to put something up your butt, Put a bit of rope around it, a bit of string Something. around it so that you can pull it back out. Just in case. Like, that's what I, if I was going to do that, that's what I'm you not do. saying I'm doing it. Look at her. She's like, guys, t- for tips at home. For tips at home. But that's, string. <laughs> but, but that's a thought process. We don't put a tampon up us without a string on it, do no. we? Or else how else are we going to get it out? No. So those people are dumb. 
dumb so, for one, dumb for one thing, doing it. Mm. Second thing, okay, you're doing it, but you need to be able to get it out. So put a piece of string around it. Yeah. So I'm going to show you some x-rays of things that have been stuck up. Why are you still showing me visual stuff? <laughs> It's just, too, it's just like, too much sometimes. I'm old lady. So, you know, um, our first housewarming present that you ever bought us what did was I get you? Uh, mortar and pestle. Oh, yeah, 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 love yeah. It. It's in our kitchen. I yeah. absolutely love it. Um, it's a pestle. <gasps> now, those fuckers <laughs> are like that and they're like probably, that's probably like a cock size. Yeah, but in my mind, it's so it's hard. Just, it's like but look at the way it's sitting. It's like, like st oh yeah, you can't say. It. It's like a, st but it, they're so hard. It's like a stone. Yeah, that'd be fucked. Second one. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Spray can. <laughs> a spray. Yeah, but the spray thing. What if it went off inside you? And put paint all up in there. Or they whatever. must be off their chops doing it. <laughs> they're either drunk or on drugs. Seriously. You well, and or also just bored. some people just get bored. You, you gotta like be relaxed. Yeah, you've got you've got to be relaxed. Yeah, there's no way. So I don't. Okay, what else is there? Um. Oh, this Spray one's an eggplant. Can. You have to look at that one a little bit harder. See it in the middle. Yeah, but it's going like this. Yeah. How did it so, do that? <laughs> what do you mean? That just... doesn't look like an eggplant. It is though. an eggplant. But it doesn't look like the shape of an eggplant. It is. So the top part of the eggplant is further up here. Oh, God. So How next one is a glass jar, but this looks like a coffee jar. You know, like the coffee jars that, like... They left the lid on it. <laughs> the lid. Oh, that's, that's got to be bullshit, really. <laughs> no, it's not. You can't. It's not. These are legit. Um, no. <laughs> what if it broke in there? Well, see, the thing is, number one, glass terrifying why glass why glass that's just so scary because if it does break it's going to do some damage but to leave the lid on that's weird like why hey i wonder if there was coffee in the jar why did you why did you say that <laughs> i could have gone happily not wondering if there was I'm coffee wondering in that jar if they emptied it or if they just left the coffee well, in well maybe they're cooked so they probably left the they probably coffee left in. the coffee in um, this is a CT scan of a zucchini inside of someone. Well, a zucchini, yeah. Okay. Have you seen that billboard near our house, though, where it's like, um, it's for a sex shop? And no. Yeah, so it's like, um, leave the vegetables alone. Um, just come to the sex store instead. Like, leave the vegetables. We're sick of being abused because <laughs> of shit like this, because people keep putting vegetables in their places. Well, how do you think the hospitals must get some real good stories? I... Don't you reckon? Wish that, like, if anyone is a doctor or a nurse or probably the nurses, because they'll give up the team order and the doctor would, I reckon. You reckon? Oh, some of those doctors are a bit, you know. Me, boring. Yeah. But I honestly, please tell us if you. Is there any more pictures? Yeah, there is. If you have, if you have been the person that someone has come into and and is gone. I have something stuck on my butthole. What was their excuse? Like, I want to know. Like, did you fall? Did you say you fell off the ladder? But well, they don't really penis? have to say how it happened. No, but in my mind, oh, I'm like... Although they probably do want to know just in case. I suppose I don't know. It depends on the circumstance, I reckon. This one's a wine bottle. Cork in or out? Cork, or is it cork in. See? And is there wine in that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't get that. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> no, this one is ridiculous. You know, like the um, the electric beater when you like make cake. No, not the, the beater. The beater. <laughs> oh my god, that is too. And they poked it up that way. Although, yeah, it looks yeah. like the 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 long bit might still be out, so be able to pull that out. No, can you imagine if you the zoom in down the bottom here, oh. it's it's all the way. But in. can you imagine the damage it would do? So like you would much be bleeding. Damage. And what so if you had hemorrhoids up there? Oh. Like the blood. The blood. What's the wrong blood? with these people? Um, this is a Barbie doll. <laughs> and there's no head. Or is there a head and the head's no, come off? No, there's no head in there. It's just it's just the Barbie oh, doll, which, which I think somehow is worse. Here's the next one. Okay, but hang on. A Barbie doll. So are you taking your child's Barbie doll just, to just ram it up your butt? Must be. And I wonder if the wife shoved it up his butt. 
I, I she probably know. shoved up there with anger. I want to know. <laughs> Fuck you. I told you to pick up their shit. Um, this, the last two uh, were like, I just couldn't even deal. The last two, this one is an egg, like an actual I wonder egg. if it was a boiled egg. That's exactly what I said because I was like, how did you get this egg up your asshole without cracking mm. it? Or did you, like, did you so, already put something bigger in your asshole so your asshole was gaped enough that you were able to put the egg in so there? So I wonder if you could just push that out. So I wonder, if it had, I wonder if it was boiled and peeled. Oh, yeah, because you want the shell. And then no shell because it'll be soft. You yeah. might be able to just push that sucker out. Well, But clearly be. not because there's an x-ray. And it kind of looks like it's gone sideways. I see. This is only really danger, people. It's <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> dangerous. This is the last one. You're not going to be happy about it. Oh, why? A light bulb. <laughs> I don't understand that. Because the glass in a light bulb... Is so thin it's so and fragile. Thin. Yeah. What a doofus. <laughs> how did they do it? I need to, like, how did they do it? Well, how did and they. And it's not a small no, light bulb. How did they push it up there without it breaking? Yes, that's what I'm saying. How did you, number one, get it in even Looped in there? it up, shoved it up. Yeah, but. No, I'm sorry. Your muscles. Think about how strong the muscles in your asshole are. Love. Like, how did your butthole not just go... Well, it's got to be tight to keep all the poop up there so you just, does the poop just doesn't <laughs> fall out. Right? Yeah, right. right. It does. Yeah, yeah. Like, because it it's like a plug. It is like Without a plug. A plug. Yeah. But yep. it was not intended for <laughs> foreign objects. Look, not, not these type of objects. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. If you're gay, homosexual, whatever, that's or if you just like all good. Stuff. I don't care what you do, but Jesus Christ, the foreign objects like that, a I light know. bulb. I What know. were you thinking? I know. And that's why I, I was wanna, like. I want to know if anyone out there has put something up their butt and can you let me know why? No, not even just why. I don't really care no, why. I want to know the why. I want to know how you got it in there because I know yeah, yes, but they can a give us a crap ton of lube, but. No, but the, they can give us the why and they can also give us the how. You know what? Sometimes curiosity kills the cat, I reckon, babe. I reckon Have you ever stuck sometimes... your finger up your own bum? Not up my own ass. <laughs> Other people's asses, absolutely. Not my butt. I don't just stick I... my finger up my own butt. I... Okay, this is going in a direction. <laughs> 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 oh I can't no. talk about today because it's just not right. I know. I just couldn't... Like, the more I looked at them, the more I was like, there are so many... And like it was just Google, just Google image, X butt no, X rays. I'm good. It was insane. I just want to know how why. and why. Yeah. The how and why. I just want to know if you work in an emergency room or the hospital or anything, if you've ever had to, like, what is the strangest thing that someone has like come into the emergency room with? Like we know in people do the drugs up there and everything. Yeah. But the light bulb, like the light and the egg, a, a Barbie doll. I'm just. Just not vibing it. It's just not a vibes. It's not no. the vibes. Anyway, what have you got for me? Um, I've got, I've got the shit show. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I had to think then what I was yeah. doing. Yeah, you were like, what am I here for again? Okay, so shit show. This is what was sent in. So, hey ladies, hey girl. Hey ladies, yeah. <laughs> I'm really attracted to tradies. Who isn't? Oh. Um, a man in some high vis. Hell yes. Mm. However, they all think I'm too good for them. What do you think that means? So, obviously, yeah. this is a girl, maybe. Let's assume. Let's just go with it's a girl. Mm. That's a really interesting, like... So, she, she's question. attracted to... Who isn't attracted to the tradies? I Let it, don't, like... Okay, so we work in an office. Boring. Boring. So, when <laughs> tradies come in to, like, fix something, oh, we all go... We what are they? cat. We well, cat. we're like... What do they look like? Yeah, no. Nah. But if they're like hot, you're like, oh my god! You're like, god. ladies, we have a view for work today. Yeah, and mm -hmm. so you're like sitting at your desk and you're just like viewing, <laughs> especially if they've got to get up a ladder. Oh, like, if they're doing the light bulbs, like yeah, they have to do the light bulbs. And usually the there's two of them if they got to do the light bulbs. Yeah, maybe one of them. You're lucky if both are hot. Yeah, but you'll always get one that's you'll, hot, yeah. and the other one nine not times so out hot. of ten. And the one not so hot holding the ladder. <laughs> 
The hot one is up the, the ladder. The hot one. Why is it always the hot one that's up the ladder? Because he's showing off his butt <laughs> and his, his muscles and his body yeah. and he's scoping out the floor. <laughs> I just so. think I what I find like I just like the high vis. Like I know it's so weird and I don't know why, but like I just think like they just look good in high vis. I get it. I, I, I feel or like or uniform in yeah. general. Like oh, any like. Army, oh. Navy, police, fireman, anything. Big Daddy Dave. Any, Big Daddy Dave any type of uniform. was in the army in his younger days. Mm. And let me tell you, ladies, he was hot. <laughs> he had the muscle. He was so cute. <laughs> he was so cute in his uniform. But I think tradies just have this swagger about they them. They do. They, they got do. this swagger There's about them. There's something else about it. Not like office dwelling men. I just think they're like it depends because they're clean them, hand, like yeah they've got um, keyboard fingers. That's what Dad calls Joel? it because he's like, "There's not work. There's just not working man's hands." Like you know all. Of Big that Daddy shit. Dave is not an office dweller. No, he's still a bit on the. But I tradey. like I personally think though, like in an office environment, if a man dresses really well, like he's got nice shoes and oh, nice pants, yeah. and, like I will still be like, "Fuck, you're hot." Yeah. But there's just something different about tradies. There's, there's something, something completely, completely different. different about but I, I th- I'm not sure. Like you said, they're not attractive. They say they're too good for you. Yeah. Um, what so the fuck does that mean? Just do you think maybe she's she's in like a. Um, like a different type of job or something? Well, she like... might be, let's think about back in the old days. When you were in service, if you were working in hospitality, so back in mm. the old, old days, in service meant you were servicing a rich family. Okay. So you were the butler, the maid, oh, whatever, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you didn't mingle with high society. Yeah. Right? So if you think about it, she's probably a bit too diff- snotty yeah she might she be. might come from money and the tradies probably think yeah no too, you're, yeah i'm too good for you. you're too much or but and like but depends is she being snooty tooty well that's because if I'm she's thinking. being like that girl you need to like calm it down because like and it, I guess based on what she said there, it seems like this isn't the first time it's happened. No, like, it seems like it happens a lot. Yeah, like if she's – so she's definitely attracted to the traders or whatever, but if the fact that it's more than one person has been like, I just feel like I'm too good for you, what are you – like I feel like I what think messages are you sending? You're putting that? something out there for yeah. them to do that. And if it's more than one person saying it, you've got a problem. It's a self-reflection moment. You ain't going to get a tradie. You need so to you're the one that needs to make some changes. Yeah. Um, no, that's me. That's I feel like this yeah. is my thing. I feel like you need to make some changes. I don't usually say that to people because you no. do you, you be you. Mm. But if you run a trade, you maybe need to come down off your high horse. Yeah, come is down that a, a few rough? pegs. No, I don't think so. I think... Um, a bit rough? No, I don't think it's rough at all, Dog. I think I do agree with you that if it's more than one person that has said it, that's definitely telling me that there's something that you're putting out there whether it's a vibe or like what I don't know the what you're saying or whatever you, you're giving off something that so maybe you need to take that. a good look at yourself and how you interact with them yeah like and a then go okay moment. or even ask one of them yeah elaborate like oh like, so hey, like when you say you're too good for me like what does that mean can you please break that down for me yeah what does that mean because and then if you're if they tell you and you're willing to make those changes, you will get your tradie. You will. But also though, like if I know that some guys this is gonna be awful, but I know that some she's guys awful. Well she's awful if because they she's don't already yawned see, today. If they don't wanna see keep seeing a, a girl anymore or something like that. And have they maybe played this I just feel like you're too good for me card to like stop seeing someone. Or she someone. might be full on. Do you get what I mean though? And yes, it's I like, do. And it's like, oh, it's like, I'm just not ready for yes, a relationship. Yes, I do. Yeah, that like, whole bullshit it's thing. It's like, it's me. Why can't it's they just you. say, I'm not into you? I would respect that so much more. Like, if they're I like, mean, you know what? I'm, I'm not vibing I'm you. I'm just not vibing. Like, I, you know, my intention was not to lead you on. I'm just yeah. not that into you. Yeah. All good. I think a girl just wants to know that. Yeah, we do want to know that. We, not we, this bullshit of... See, to me, that's the bullshit of I'm too good for you. I think that's bullshit. I but just, if yeah. that's what you're getting, you probably need to, like, 
knuckle down and ask them. I think I would. Like, I would. I would just be like, I just need to understand like what you mean by that. And if they can't give you a fucking answer, it's probably bullshit. What they're saying then is probably bullshit. And maybe you're picking the wrong type of tradie. Oh, yeah. What would you, like, do you have a preference? No plumbers, because I don't need to be you They're smelling touching like all shit. that shit. <laughs> Sorry, plumbers. Guys, you're out. Um, Leckies are okay. I like a good builder. I like a chippy. But you know what? Like, chippies are hot. Chippy. Or Tyler. You know, what about that sexy guy we saw on TikTok? Oh, he was yes. hot. Yes. And he just uploads TikToks all day of him fucking tiling people's bathrooms. And I'm like, what a life. But for me, it was, um, for me, it's a man in uniform. Yeah. So, like firemen, policemen. Like, you know, Big Daddy Dave in his, like, army uniform was, like, hot. Mm. And he still wears a uniform in his current job. Yeah. Not so hot. It's, well, it's not it's so hot. It's <laughs> But, you know, it's just a uniform. He, yeah. But he always looks smart and, yeah. like, groomed. Yeah. And I just think any type of uniform is hot. Some of those tradies can be a bit sloppy. Yeah. But I like the ones that, you know, still groom themselves well. Still look presentable. Yeah. yeah. But, girl, I reckon you just need to, like... Either ask them to ask elaborate. Them. And if they can't give you an answer, it's because it's bullshit. Or maybe if you maybe. don't want to ask them, it's maybe some self-reflection time. Being like, okay, what makes them think that I am too good for them? Like, what... What is it? Is yeah. it the way I talk? Is it Are what if you, it's the job she has? What if she's maybe some fucking like executive fancy pants CEO something. or something? And or maybe you're just being a snobby bitch. Yeah. Like Or maybe the I guys are insecure. There are so many angles. Lots of angles. <laughs> lots of angles. But that's what Ooh. I would do. You know yeah. what? It all comes down to communication. Oh my god, here we go. I haven't used that word for a while. You haven't actually. No. Gave it a rest there for a little bit, you I think. You gave it a little cow's communication. But it corner. just comes back to all of that. Yeah. It's it's about being brave. Yeah. Conjure it up and just yeah. ask. Yeah. Sometimes that can be really difficult. Yeah, look, I don't have a problem with, uh, with, no, with it. No, she does not. But I know that not. a lot of other people really do struggle to, like, yes. broach subjects or yes. <clears throat> express their opinions or, like... Yeah, I know that not everyone is comfortable. So, yes, that's what I think I would do. Yeah. Do you? I agree. Yeah? Lots on there. But tradies, mate, we love them coming into work oh. and they don't come in often. They oh. don't. So when they you do, know that, like, oh. Yeah, oh, so yeah. the other day, what day was it? You and it must have been, I don't know, you and Joel weren't in the office that day. Yeah. And they were fixing the door once again at work. Mm. And But it was... The alarm of it was going off and I'm like, oh. oh, my God, the bloody door again. Walk out there. Oh, there's a tradie fixing it. Hot? No. Oh. It was so disappointing. Oh. Couldn't even just stand there and take a gawk. I was like, yeah, no, back to my desk. Yeah. Yep, I'll go sit back down. No, yeah, we do get pretty lucky if they are hot and they come in hot. but It's not often. It's not. No. We but, love yeah, love me a tradie. Mm. But I love be Big Daddy Dave. Of course you do. <laughs> Stop it. You know, it's like nuts though because Joel has done. Um, well, he's, he's been done tradie lots, work. He has, yeah, he's been a tradesman. He's been a lot of when things. When he was younger. He's been a lot of things over his years. He has. So he, he would have worn tradie clothes. Like, uh, this was way before me. Pre Jasmine. But I, like, because I've only ever seen him in, like, office environment. Yeah. He'll, like, say something one day. <clears throat> about like, oh yeah, back when I did this job or whatever. And I'm like, I can't even, I cannot imagine you doing that job. Like there's just, no. in my mind, I'm just like, no way. I can't see you there doing He's tools He's got those precious stuff. hands. When you look at him, you're like, no. He's going to fucking kill you for saying that. He knows I love him. <laughs> He'll be oh fine. He'll be fine. We're getting He's close. a very good cook though. Oh my God, that He's man. He's a great cook. Does that help, Joel? I hope so. That man knows how to cook. Let me tell you. See? He is good. He loves me. Um, oh, we are so close to our giveaway. The giveaway. Come on, guys. So close. How are we going with that? <laughs> what do you mean how are we going with that? We've got people putting in. We, need, we always need keep more. Keep it going. If you want to win, keep it up. Probably a recap on what you can win. I will bring it up now. Um, 
is... One of our What's the Jam jumpers. Now we are doing a hoodie option available as well. So whatever you like, whatever you want, whoever the winner when you is, become the winner. You'll get a little like coffee tumbler, which is probably around that size actually. Uh, one of our stickers and a tote bag as well. A tote bag. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm, a mm -hmm. tote. So lots to win there, and all you need to do is like and share the post. Make sure you're following us on Instagram and tag two friends. So nice and easy to enter. Lots, lots up for grabs. Get into it. And, like, if you can, tag people that don't know about us. Well, that would be really great. I would love that. You know, and we know we're not everyone's cup of tea. Mm. We understand that. And yep. we're not offended when people say, oh, I've never heard it. And I said, that's cool. Yeah, that's fine. Go and hear it. But yep. if you don't like it and stop hearing listening, that's, that's okay. Cool. Like, yeah. Yep. But, you know, the more the merrier. The more the merrier. We love, we love this anyway, even if it's just two people listening Look, every fucking week. and especially, like, Every, nearly every Sunday, somebody is hungover oh. or actually drunk and just topping up. Yeah. <laughs> we still will be here to do our little recording to make sure you guys get it on a Monday. Every, every fucking and Monday. And you know what? I go to work on a Monday and I actually sit there and I listen to myself. <laughs> I do. I listen to it while I'm working and then I start laughing because I go, you actually said that. You fucking idiot. You sound ridiculous. That's and I funny. laugh and people just look at me like... Have you? Him. Okay, I'll ask you this. Have you ever watched the YouTube? Oh yeah, I think There's I watched. Something about I watched <laughs> last week. You know the rimming and the yeah. the big boobs, the dicks, all of that. And I was watching all of my facial reactions. <laughs> it's so funny. And I was like, oh my god, people must think I'm just this prude. <laughs> <It's so funny>. Or <laughs> well, there's something wrong with me. I like. There's something about watching yourself and then being like, oh my. Oh, it. even like, listening to yourself, you're hearing your own voice is like, oh. You're like, oh. If I feel cringy about it, other people must think, oh, listen to her. <laughs> or look at her. <laughs> look at her go. But I, right now, I don't really care because I have a lot of fun doing this. Yeah, it's something that so. we love to do no matter what, but we'll always love and like love for it to continue to grow, however that may look. Yeah. and. Yeah, yeah. We just love it. We love. But we it need for you, guys. you guys to give us some more content in terms of shit shows. Yeah. Or anything you want us to talk about. Remember, anything. it's anonymous. Yeah. And where can now, they get us? Oh. Now. Yeah. I did a poll. And oh. I said, um, <clears throat> "Do you believe that all of our links are anonymous?" Ninety percent said yes. Oh, great. And ten percent said no. Well, I don't know what's wrong with you, ten percent. So it I'm is thinking, anonymous. I was thinking we'll maybe do like. Um, create like a video to show oh to show them to show them in real time what it looks like yeah. when it comes through because we want you 10 percenters to yeah believe us believe us and i think sometimes people are like oh my god like they're definitely gonna know it's me we don't fucking know it even you. the I... story you like we would have no clue so even if it was somebody that we do know that has put it in yeah we have no clue. Yeah. We don't. We can't figure it out and we don't no want to figure it out. No. Because all we want to do is talk about it and give you our unprofessional advice. Advice. Yep, yep, yep. But we like to just talk about anything. We like all the tea. Yeah, we love the tea. We love the like, gossip. If there's fucking gossip, gossip out there, change the names, do whatever you can. Just give me the goss. Let us just do it, mm. you know? Yeah. But yeah... Yeah. Fun times. Fun times. You can find us on TikTok, oh. YouTube, yeah. Instagram, yeah. Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Leave us all ratings on everything. Leave us ratings on everything, of course. Or and subscribe. Yeah. We hope you have the best week. Is that it? That's it. Oh. This is us today, doll. Oh, okay. All right, guys. It was great being with you. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Catch you next week. Love you.